Hi folks, we're back here for another video from Team Mac Fitness Workshop. Um, oh, why did I go again? Hi folks, welcome back here to the workshop. We're going to do another video today, courtesy of Team Mac Fitness. Recently I got a message in, just um, someone was doing squats and felt that um, they weren't really getting into their squats until later on in their sets. So it might have been maybe their, I can't remember if it was their third or fourth set, until they felt really comfortable going down into the squat. So they asked what other exercises maybe that you could do to warm up um, before you start squatting. So I'm just going to show you one of the ones that I actually do and it's one of my favourite ones. It's not the only one I do now at You might have noticed especially in maybe the workout video, the Saturday session with the one down the mat. That's a great pose to do the forward back one. But this is actually another one that actually mightn't have been in a video yet and it's just a nice kind of one to get the, kind of the hips open, get the hips warmed up and it's a nice one and that I found that really helped me. So I'm just going to show you here today. It's actually with a resistant band. So make sure that you do have a resistant band um, anchored to something solid, okay? Make sure it's not going to pull away from you. It has to be one that's going to give a, a nice resistance as well. So maybe not the black one, although if it's the first time doing it, you might find the black one's alright. But it does have to give you a little pull in. So what you do first, if you want to go maybe on the left side first, just step in, just above the knee, and you're going to kind of step out until you feel that band pulling the knee in. Then you're just going to set yourself up into your normal squat stance. You're just going to go down and whatever your kind of normal squat is, whether it's too parallel or it's below parallel, go down and as you're coming up, you should feel that the inside, the left one here, is you're forcing the leg back in. So that's making sure the hip is staying stable. You're pushing it into the position that you want to be in and you're fighting against that resistant band the whole time, okay? So that might be fighting against external rotation of the hip, so you're warming up that way. The next thing that I do is that I actually will turn around and on the left side. So you're still on the left side. I find the handiest thing to do is to just put the other leg inside. Now, although you have this leg now on the inside, the band is still on the left leg. So now you want to fight the force of the band actually pulling it towards. But the same idea, you still go down into your high squats. And all that is, is just challenging your hip in a different direction. Then once you step out of that, you'll actually bring the band down nearly right behind the knee. You'll step out a little bit. Once again, we're looking for a nice little resistance on it. You'll take the weight off the leg, the, the, the outside leg, which is the right one this time. And you're just going to squat down. And then push back right into full extension. Relax the knee down. And push back into full extension then again. And then what you do then, you just take the leg out and you'll actually go and do exactly the same then on the right leg. So you get your right leg in first, once again just above the knee, and what you're doing then is you're pulling out until you find that resistance. You'll do the same squats, and you'll use your squat stance, you'll turn around, get the left leg in, step back out until you find that little bit of resistance against you, and then you can find your sweet spot, but if you're out a little bit further, because you get a little bit stronger on, or you might have to go on a little bit more. Because obviously the further away, the more stretches on the band and the harder it's going to be. And same idea, you go down, nice squats, nice and comfortable. There we go. And you'll feel the band pulling you in. You'll step out, get the band just behind the knee. Once again, let it bend down and push then right back in to full extension. Alright, so that's what I do on my squats then, squat then. I actually only do that kind of four squats, four squatting, because I was kind of the same as the person who messaged me. I was feeling maybe, especially when I'm kind of heavy onto the squats, so you're up into maybe your um, 75 or 80 percent, your own rep max kind of, so you're doing heavy squats, um, and maybe doing them for fives or whatever, was that when I got into them, and the fourth one was probably my best one, then of course fatigue sets in on the fifth. But it was really taking maybe a set or two to really get into them. The other thing of course you can do is you can do warm up sets. So maybe if you were doing 80 or 90 and that was your, your heavy, your working set, take it back down to maybe 40, 30 or 40 and get a few reps in at that. And then there are other exercises like that you'll see from the warm up video. 
there's some good exercise in that. Um, and from the Saturday session, like I said, the one we've done down in the mat. But specifically for squatting, there, that's the nice flow I do. So you could call it really three exercises, but I usually do all them together. So that's just kind of one block of exercise. And it really warms up the hips. If that is your issue maybe with um, um, squatting, if that's what's holding you back, that it takes a while for the hips to warm up before you can get that depth, before you make the and get them solid. Now it might not be uh, everybody's issue, it might help with some people, I know it helped with me, but even if it doesn't, it's definitely important and it's worth your while really giving the hips a good warm up because they are the joint that's under the most stress in squatting and it probably is what's holding you back most as well from getting a little bit of depth. Now there are also some other issues, It's not, everybody's not the same obviously, but for the majority maybe of people that I've come in contact with and clients here in the gym in the workshop is that hips is the one that kind of holds you back most. So if you want to try that, you will find a difference when you are squatting. And if anybody, if you ever have any other question or anything like this person done, just message me. I can do a video. I'll get back to you maybe with some tips. Uh, before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video if you thought the content was good. Feel free obviously to comment as well. And that's another, t another video done from the workshop here. Um, and we'll talk next Friday.